So good morning. Welcome again to this another series lecture about electrical wiring simulator or EWS. Today we are going to discuss the fifth activity under the magnetic conductors circuit. Okay, so let's click this one. Then let's proceed to the fifth activity which is entitled the make or break contacts. Okay, so we will now combine the normally closed and then the normally open uh, contacts. Okay, so let's click this one play and then the normal mode so let us explain first the functionality of our uh, circuit here okay so we have here the uh, push button which is the normally open push button and then we have here the uh, coil okay km1 so it means that this uh, components here is referring to only a uh, contactor a single contactor which is in this particular case here km1 Okay, so we have here the pilot lamp 3, and then we have here the pilot lamp uh, number 2. Okay, so if you're going to start the breaker, take note, guys, that uh, this is a normally open push button. Hence, uh, the moment you start the circuit breaker, the current will not be able to flow through this uh, coil here. Hence, this one will remain open. This one will remain closed. So at the same time, so this PL3 will be off because the current will not be able to flow here however since the current will be able to flow through this line here hence this pl2 will be turned on okay however if you press this one and hold press this one and hold this k uh, this coil here will be energized okay if this one will be energized this one will close okay this one will close this one will be turned on this one will be off Okay, we will be in open state and then this one will be turned off. However, if you release your hand here, if you release your hand, okay, so it will return to its original state, which is de energize, uh, return to open. Okay, this one will off, return to close, this one will be on. Okay, so let's have a summary. Uh, a summary. The moment you start your breaker, this one is de energize, this one is off, this one is on. If you press this one and hold, this one will be energized. This one will be, uh, this one will close. So this one will on. This one will open. This one will off. However, if you release your hand here, this one will be de-energized. This one will return to open. This one will open. This one will turn off. This one will return to close. And then this one will turn on okay so let's wire the circuit first and then we will simulate the functionality of the circuit once we completed the wiring successfully okay so same again we have to wire this one first so same activity activity number one so the fuse to the r at uh, the s to the fuse so the s to the fuse okay and then the output of our uh, fuse to the input of our push button so push button number two which is in this particular case here. okay which is in this particular case this one here next the output of our uh, push button connected to the a1 of our magnetic contactor which is the coil okay so the input connected to the a1 of our magnetic contactor okay next the output of our magnetic conductor, the A2, okay, will be connected to the fuse. So the output will be connected to the, okay, undo this one, connected to the fuse. Okay, and then the output of the fuse will be connected to the uh, output of our uh, R supply here. Okay. And then let's connect this line here. So the 13, we can connect this one to the input of our PB2, or we can connect this one from the output of our views, the 13. So let's take a look. So I think it would be easier if we connect this one to the... Uh, to the input of our PB2. So 13 to the input of our PB2. So the 13 is here, the upper side, upper part here. This is the 13, this is the 21. So this one here is the 13. So 13 
oops, 13 to the input of the PB2. Okay, 13, 13 to the input of the PB2. Okay, and then D14 to the uh, input of the PL3. PL3 is this one. So 14 to the input of the PL3. Okay, and then the output of our PL3 will be connected to the A2 or go back to the output of the fuse one. But I think it would be easier if we connect this one to the output of our KM1 or the A2. Okay. The output of our A2 here. Okay. So for the last line, we, ha we can connect this 21, okay, 21 to the input again of the PB2 or the output of the fuse 2, or the easiest way is the, we connect this 21 to the 13 of our uh, normally open contact. So 21 to the normally open contact. So 21 is around here. Okay, so this is the 21, so we can connect it directly to the 13. 21 to 13. Okay. And then next, the 22, we can connect the 22 through the, to the input of our pilot lamp 2. Okay, so the input of our pilot lamp 2, which is in this particular case here. Okay, so the 22 is this one. Okay, and then connect this one to the input of our PL two okay the last wire is the output of our pl2 we can connect this one to the a2 or the easiest way is we can connect this one directly to the output of our pl3 so the pl2 output of pl2 to the output of pl3 okay so we can do it this way okay so let's zoom out okay and then let's take a look at the overall uh, circuit here okay and then let's click the submit button okay so pass so it means that we got the uh, 11 wirings uh, correctly okay so as what we can see here the moment we start our breaker this pl2 is already turned on because this one here is connected to the normally closed circuit to the normally closed contact as what we can see here the pl2 okay however if you press this one here if you press this pb2 so this one the expectation is this one should turn off and then this one will turn on let's try to click this one click Okay, so the PL2 is now turned off while the PL3 is now turned on. However, if you release this one, it should go back to its original state, which is the PL1 will be turned on, uh, PL2 will be turned on, and then PL3 will be turned off. Let's release. Okay, and then press again. And then release. Okay, so see you in the next lecture.